Welcome to the Museum of Natural History. Located at the upper campus of the University of the Philippines Los Baños, the museum is a popular educational and ecotourism destination in Los Baños and Laguna. It caters each year to thousands of elementary, high school and college students, researchers, foreign tourists, as well as the general public. It has different dioramas and displays which highlight and showcase the richness of Philippine biodiversity. Some of the special displays and features include marine shells, coral ecosystems, and deep water life. Cave life and the biodiversity of different terrestrial and forest ecosystems. Geological displays such as rocks, minerals, and fossils. A live collection of endemic epiphytes such as hoyas and ferns. Insects such as walking sticks, leaf insects, crickets, and beetles and endemic frogs from Mount Makiling being kept in a terrarium. There are also displays of amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals, fungi, bamboo, arthropods, fetuses, and many more. But unknown to many, the UPLB Museum of Natural History is more than a heritage building with exhibit areas. Much like a library, the MNH is a center of documentation as well as a repository of biological specimens for scientific reference. The museum holds an unprecedented number of specimens and is considered as one of the largest in the country. In fact, it manages and operates seven noteworthy and world-renowned collections, namely The Botanical Herbarium, the second largest collection in the Philippines, has around 70,000 specimens including flowering plants, ferns and allies, mosses, liverworts, and macroalgae. The Entomological Museum, the country's biggest, has around 120,000 pin insect specimens, more than 5,000 slide mountain specimens, and more than 75,000 slides of mites. The Forestry Herbarium and Wood Collection has in its care roughly 12,000 specimens of forest and palm species. It has in its collection more than 1,100 species, including around 500 of yet undetermined new specimens. Located under the narrow bridge between the Marulas and Malawian Creeks, the Hortorium is an in-situ collection of around 400 trees and plants and serves as a learning laboratory of several university courses. The Microbial Culture Collection maintains nearly 600 strains of bacteria, yeasts, molds, microfungi, and microalgae. It is the first Philippine collection registered in the World Federation for Culture Collection. The Mycological Herbarium has 11,000 specimens of Ascomycetes, Basidiomycetes, and Mixomycetes. It is by far the biggest collection of fungi in the country. The Zoological and Wildlife Museum, globally known as the Rabor Wildlife Collection, has more than 17,000 taxidermied and spirit preserved specimens. Most of these specimens were collected by the father of Philippine wildlife conservation. Dr. Dioscoro S. Rabor. 
The Museum of Natural History is also a center of research, and as such, a center of information on the basic aspects of biology. With the help of its curators, researchers, and museum technicians, the museum is able to conduct collection expeditions, field surveys, ecological observations, impact assessments, and of course, basic studies on taxonomy and systematics. Two of its most important research programs are the Cave Biodiversity Research Program and the Island Biodiversity Research Program. In the past five years, the museum has discovered more than a hundred new species through rigorous taxonomic and systematics work. Our curators and staff are publishing numerous peer-reviewed scientific articles that detail the discovery of new species and records of flora, fauna, and microbes. The expertise and experience of our curators and staff on Philippine biodiversity is not only sought by local scientists. We are actively working with foreign researchers from various institutions around the globe. And to ensure that we are able to contribute to the body of knowledge, the museum produces various publications aimed to promote the diversity and conservation of fauna and flora in the Philippines. To help conserve and protect Philippine biodiversity, the museum also serves as a center of education on the preservation of natural heritage. We complement our integrated biodiversity exhibits with mobile natural history exhibits that are brought to areas outside the university. We conduct short courses for students from different schools and universities where we teach them how to do biodiversity field surveys using different assessment techniques. Through our biodiversity seminar series, experts and scientists deliver lectures on various research activities or discuss on identified environmental problems and their solutions. The museum also assists various agencies in setting policies and priorities for countrywide and local biodiversity and conservation research and action projects. We render special services for students and researchers including biological specimen identification and verification of scientific names appearing in thesis and dissertations. Moreover, we can also provide microbial cultures for use in research and application in industries. More importantly, the museum is a facility for training future naturalists. We help mold students going into biodiversity conservation work through the MNH Thesis Advisory Program, Internship Program, and Volunteer Program. The museum's activities are essentially linked to man's quest for knowledge and understanding of his relationship with the environment. Through research, public service, and teaching, MNH curators and staff heed to the museum's battle cry. To bring people closer to nature, and nature closer to the people, is our commitment. The Museum of Natural History is a testament to the university's noble aim of helping preserve and conserve the country's rich natural historical heritage for the next generations to come.